one time, I think Turi has said this many times on the show, where she says mm. um, that, you know, a woman will never, like a woman will only push as far as, a woman will only come with entitlement if she is being backed by. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes, this statement is between women and other women, or women against other women. Mm. So don't go fighting your man, go fighting your woman. But sometimes, these men, these men can try you. They're going to try you. Mm. And there are some times that these men will give so much ammunition to the side chicks and all these other side sneaky links that they have that it gets to a point where it's now affecting your marriage. So today, we're kind of talking about some things that men should never discuss with their side chicks or their side partners. Mm. I hate the fact that we're admitting that men can have side chicks so much so that now we're creating rules and regulations about it. That's already really problematic for me to be entirely honest. But if you have a side chick, then this is probably something you should never tell her. Mm. And I actually do ask. I, I think back in my life and I'm like, at some point I was definitely a side chick. Knowingly or unknowingly, mm. I was probably a side chick. And, you know, I later found out about it much, much later. I'm like, wait, this, this is not, this isn't making sense. Why am I in someone's house and they have a closet full of women's clothes? Kwani, kwani, We were shopping for you. Eh, niko wapi uku? kuna, kuna, kuna mkurugenzi na nimekuja kwa mkurugenzi. Ah, what's going on? Mm. And it was at that point that I realized I'm a side chick. But have you ever been a side chick? I unknowingly and i always it's always unknowingly yep. and when yep. i found out i felt so bet betrayed mm. because this person had led me to believe that i was the one. Oh, you were getting married we were making plans Absolutely. we were looking at vendors Buddha. you know like mm. this person had really made me believe that he was the one to the point where he's like uh next month you're coming to talk to your parents so you can see you can see where I was at. And also, I was very young. Mm. So somebody making that that promise of, I'm coming to talk that to your parents. That level of commitment. And I'm just like, yes. Yes, finally. Yes. I'm off the market. Finally. Hey. 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 What a na 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 na. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I was really, really happy until, you know, I got that infamous uh, DM of, oh. Hi. <laughs> My name is so and so. How do you know so and so? And there were red flags there. There were red flags, like the fact that he never posted me, but I used to post him all the time. So yeah. So he was always on my timeline. Mm -hmm. So I think somebody she was told, somebody shared you know, like it's a small it's a small world. Mm. It's a small village. Mm. So somebody was like, Ain't this your man? She comes to my village like, eh, this is indeed my so she DMs me, is this what who who is so and so to you? Oh God. And very confidently, I'm like, oh, that's my boyfriend. Oh. <laughs> that's my mate. <laughs> and she was like, oh, me too. <laughs> so yeah, there have been instances, and it's just very unfortunate. And in those particular instances where, uh, you know, the both of us have been in situations with married men without knowing, what are some of the things that? It, before, you know, because before you break up with them, there's like a space of time where mm. you're still hanging about, hoping and praying mm. and crossing your fingers mm -hmm. that so, there's a change. What are, and, and you, when you call them out on it specifically, and, and, and what was a thing that they told you that make, made you kind of go like, oh man, yeah, that B word, mm, that female get it. dog, yeah. she doesn't even know that it's my man. She's only here, you know, as a gatekeeper for a minute, but she's being exed. What are some of the things that they told you that now you feel like, yeah, that was really, really inappropriate. They probably mm. shouldn't have done that. I feel like once you realize that this man is married, or even if they were upfront with you from the get-go, I am married and so and so, and you accept your role as a side chick, the thing that they do that is really irritating is when they talk badly about horribly. their partner. Why would you talk horribly about the mother of your children? Mm -hmm. And that usually gets me. Even if they're divorced and we're talking, we're having a conversation, and then you feel the need to paint either your ex or your wife in a negative light, that kind of strikes me as odd because mm. what was the reason? And if I had weird intentions or if I was very intent on pursuing you, maybe I'm not, I'm, I'm not just there for the money. Maybe I am genuinely in love with you. Of course, she's the villain in our story. And I feel like sometimes men do that because they want you to be enemies. At, at no point will you guys be friends. So you'll always in the back of your mind know she's an evil woman. She's an evil witch who is keeping 
his children away from him. She's denying him the rights to see his children. She's taking all of his money. She's taking him to court. When the reality is, she's probably the breadwinner. Probably. And, you know, he receives an allowance from his wife. Absolutely. And even the big houses, they Are all belong wife. to his wife. Mm. So, yeah, talking about your partner, your wife, the in flaws. a negative light yeah, yeah, yeah. and saying, oh, you don't know even she did this. You know, she's always snoring. Like, why? Why would you embarrass this woman that I do not know yeah. has done nothing to me and you feel the need to embarrass her to me? That's just weird behavior yeah it's very important to not call out your partner's flaws to your side chick or mm. the people that you're seeing extra maritally another one is also telling us about your problems mm. like telling someone about your pro your marital issues mm -hmm. oh Konza, you know yesterday she cooked and she added so much salt and i think she was doing that intentionally so that i don't eat mm. oh you know Konza, her family they they are i think they are witches oh Konza, you know me they forced me to giving her dowry and i didn't want Oh, you know, Kwanzaa, she actually got pregnant very quickly. I think she was trying to trap me into this mm. marriage. And then coming and telling me now that you're in the marriage, what issues you're going through. Oh, Sujui, you know, she's always asking me for money and da 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 Why are you telling me your, your marital issues? Like, I'm not a counselor. Do I look like a, like a, like a, like, like a psychiatrist? Can you mm. talk to someone professional about it? I feel like it's very unfair when you do that because as the, as the side chick... I can't believe we're having this conversation. As the side chick, as, as a partner, I am your partner, right? This is our relationship, and then you have your relationship with that other person. Mm. Why, why would you start telling me about this other person invoking jealousy, envy, smite, uh, like malice, sorry, and spite? competition and and also just putting me in a in a weird space because like now i'm how am i consoling you about the person you're going to sleep with the, the night after you leave you've left my house to go to her house now i'm supposed to tell you oh baby you're gonna be okay you're gonna be okay and i know you're going back to her house like do you know that's a very weird mental space to put someone in mm. and ultimately you really shouldn't be doing that because also don't forget not everyone is an angel i could be looking like an angel too but i will use that information against you i will go to your wife and i will tell them by they even he told me mm -hmm. and you've seen this happening all the time in you know families where they know that that is their side chick or that's the mistress they come back and they tell you oh you know me i knew like i even remember kibaki had to stand up in front yeah. of millions of kenyans and say I only have one wife, and her name is Ruse Kibaki. Mm -hmm. You know, I know no other wife. I have you, blah, blah, blah. And everybody knew, allegedly, mm. that the other lady, what was her name, Mary? Wamboi. Wamboi mm. was this, the, the, the mistress. So I feel like it's important for you to just separate these two. Uh, if you are going to have issues with your girlfriend, have issues with your girlfriend. If you're going to have issues with your wife, have issues with her. If you have issues with both, speak to a therapist. Don't, mm. don't be bringing this stuff to other people. And also... Don't feel the need to talk about your financial capability. Hey, oh. And I feel like sometimes men will use finances or this is how much I make. These are the deals I'm making. These are the circles I am in, the financial circles I'm in, just to impress this girl. But as, a, as you're doing all of this, you're setting her up for expectations. Yes, you take home a huge salary but you're forgetting you have a wife who's accustomed to a certain lifestyle a wife that you'll probably never leave okay you have children going to expensive schools you have yes the lifestyle that you have to maintain and then now you've gotten a side chick but with the money you have told her you're making she is expecting, expecting a certain a lifestyle, lifestyle. Mm -hmm. but okay the okay minus everything that you need to take care of in your house with your wife and your partner and your children and your family you're not left with much to play around with so sometimes that expectation of oh he's such a stingy man now they think you're stingy because why did you tell me you make so much money but when i ask you for a human hair wig eh, you're like hi when the bro dry what do you mean bro dry come out and you have a car yard why why would i go for bro dry please <laughs> So, you know, this thing, <laughs> don't talk about your finances if you can't back it up. And I'm saying this as somebody who was told to go for bro dry. Bro dry. <laughs> How do you want to say the bro dry? Uh, uh -huh. uh, yeah. So, so, so no. <laughs> don't tell me. Don't tell me to go bro dry and your wife is perambulating <laughs> in 
floor sweeping eh, human hair eh, can't be me <laughs> that was so funny bro right oh my god mm -hmm. and finally and most importantly safety 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 again i cannot believe you're having this conversation but safety is important why tell your your sneaky link your slight chick the person your extra marital why are you telling them about where your children go to school? Why are mm -hmm. you telling them about where you live? Why are you telling them about, you know, uh, like specific things about current affairs? For instance, we are actually planning on going to such and such for holiday. Why would you do that? Like, mm -hmm. I feel like the safety of your children and your, and your wife in this case, and they have no idea by the way you're doing this, is paramount. Now imagine this, this girl, you do something horrible to her and then she shows up and decides, okay, your children are going to be complicit. They are now being kidnapped. Wh 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 how are you going to explain that? How are you going to explain that? How? I feel like it's important for you to actually just try and keep those two things separate. Uh, and and I hate it. Ah, I can't believe we're having this conversation. And I hate it. I hate it when you now cause inconveniences to your original family mm -hmm. because you really just had to have a, an extramarital affair. Mm -hmm. And and now these people are showing up in places, your wife's workplace. You know, they are coming with the drama because we've seen these things happen. They just show up at your work and they're like, "Yeah, your man is sleeping with me." By the way, in fact, this human hair wig. He bought for me because me I said I don't do blow dry like you. You know, it's. <laughs> I think it's important for you to keep those two entities separate. If you can find ways to lie or ra go around it somehow. Mm -hmm. Oh God. It, uh, yeah. At the end of the day, we have told you, you're an adult. You don't need to lie. You don't really lie. Don't. Just leave. Nobody will beat if, you. If there will be consequences it, oh to your truth, but be. Be bold enough to live in your truth and be bold enough to not hide versions of yourself because you're afraid you won't be accepted the way you are. Just be honest with yourself. Be honest with the people around you. And trust me, you feel so much better when you're not walking around lying. Lying just adds this burden on you. It's, it's like this cloak of shame yeah. that you're always walking around with. So yeah. don't lie. Yeah. Say the truth. Yeah, and if you do find out that you are the side chick, Aki, me, I feel like it's respectable. Mm -hmm. Just leave. Yeah. Honestly, just leave. Y you deserve better. I imagine you don't deserve scraps of time, small pockets of time when he's not at his wife's. Or he goes home. I heard this hilarious story, a horrible but hilarious story, mm -hmm. of this pilot that had a, a, a side a, a girlfriend. I'm a mwake up on you, ba, apartment, kila kitu. And the girl is pretty much sleeping with literally everyone and anyone, anything that moves. So this one time, I think it was Valentine's, um, the guy was like, I'm spending Valentine's with my wife. So she's like, I'm not going to show up, but he sent her flowers and all these other nice goodies, champagne, blah, the, the, the works. Mm -hmm. uh, but then he got home and I think he had a spat with his wife and he said, oh yeah, my wife and I have fought, so I'm actually going to spend Valentine's with you. And yeah, so he's coming back to the house, but she already has a man at the house. So it's like a whole thing of her trying to hide this guy and the smell of sex in the house because it was, you know, you know that there's a very particular scent to it. And, and, and it just, do, 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 can you try and wrap your head around the whole matter? Mm. As a side chick, you're always going to be play second fiddle. Christmas, he's going to spend with his family. You know, Valentine's is his family. Any major occasion is family. Public holiday. In fact, even bank holidays, if mm. we have some here, they're going to spend it with their family. So you're always going to play second fiddle. Do you really want that? Do you really want to be someone's second option? Mm -hmm. Like, if you call them now in an emergency, like, babe, I just missed you. I want cuddles. They're like, T hello? Niko coffee, si sai, nita kupigia bad. Ati nini meharibi, acha ni... Wait, 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 wait. And then he has to step out of his bedroom to come Seven and tell you, babe, I miss you too. But I can't, you know, my wife, you know, I have to be... Ugh. You deserve better. Brother, ugh. And you are worthy of consistent love.